what is going on boys i'm just going to do this quick intro for this video um so today's video is going to be a tutorial if you have a mouse or a keyboard or anything that's plugged into your usb slots on your pc um and they are staying on after you shut down your pc i'm going to show you how to fix that today because i was experiencing it myself with my ducky one too many keyboards so um yeah that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to do a quick intro and if you do enjoy this video please be sure to drop a like if you're new drop a sub and remember to always use code color in the item shop to support me and if you do use it and you manage to record it send me a video on instagram or twitter and i will get right back to you and i will repost it and yeah guys let's get straight into the video all right guys as i'm editing this um this last clip here for whatever reason when i would download it it would just like be messed up it would just play the same clip over again and it wouldn't actually move on in the video so um i actually had to screen record it off of dropbox so if the quality is a little bit bad or if um it looks a little choppy i just want to explain that that is why and i do apologize for that i've tried many things uh, to get it to work and it's not working properly so I just had to screen record it and yeah guys I just wanted to throw that disclaimer in the video before you watch it so yeah let's get straight into the video alright guys if you have a mechanical keyboard you may or may not have this problem I did have this problem with my ducky one too many here so basically the problem is when I shut off my computer um, my keyboard still stays on and um, like even when it's completely shut down not just sleep when I shut down it would still stay on so I'm going to be providing a fix for that in this video. Um, you might have this problem, you might not. I had it, so I decided to make a video on it to help anybody if they do have it as well. And yeah, so what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to have to restart your computer and open BIOS. So I'm going to do that and I will cut you guys back when I open up BIOS. I have opened the BIOS here, so um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to search the settings and just search... Um, we're gonna search ERP, and then there's gonna be ERP ready. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to have that on S4 plus S5. So, and once you do that, just hit OK, exit, and then you're gonna hit save and exit. So basically what is happening is, um, when you shut down your PC, um, the USB ports are still getting power. So that's why the keyboard would stay on because your USB ports are still getting power. So um, doing that setting that we just did, when your computer shuts off, your USBs also shut off. So um, now my ducky will not have lights on when I shut it down. So I hope you guys did help I hope this did help you guys. Not you guys did help. I hope this did help you guys out. Um, let me know below if you want me to make a review on uh, the ducky or the glorious that I just got. And um, yeah, guys, um, I don't know why it's taking forever to boot up, but there we go. I hate when I put the incorrect pin. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to shut it down and show you guys that it does actually shut down. So before it would not, and I it'd be really annoying. It was the first day I got the ducky, which was like a week ago. So we're shutting down, and you're gonna see my mouse just turned off, and then my keyboard will turn off once the PC turns off. So there we go, the keyboard is off, the PC is off. So now we're gonna turn the PC back on. Then the keyboard is going to light up, there we go. The mouse will also light up. Any second. There we go, all right. So yeah guys, if this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, drop a sub. And if you do want me to make a review on the ducky, let me know. And yeah, I'm out.